Yo, 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 top of the morning, man. Top of the morning, man. Welcome back to Let's Talk Everything 414 Podcast, gang. I am the host, Carnage Slaughter. Y'all already know that, though, man. I'm going to need every one of y'all to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button right now, fam. You feel me? Um, it's it, it hit different, gang, you know, and the reason I say that, and I'm going to have to kill this cam, but right now, though, the reason I say it hit different because the topic at hand, man, it's, it's, it's one of the realest things ever. You feel me? Uh, ain't no time out in the streets. But before we get into the topic, man, let me get y'all an introduction, gang. Uh, cash out flowing across the bottom, you feel me? Let me get y'all an introduction, man. Man, you bitch niggas better end your butt elevate. I need six figure money. Won't have a buck, say hella cake. Fuck why I've been on dummy. Shooting hella ops, make them a day. If not him, then kill his mama. Make him feel his wrath and the hell away. Hydro shock, but it's all in his chest. Watch as they swim away. I don't stop shooting till you die in your last breath, and then I skid away. This a hollow tip. Yo, man, you know, um, just sitting thinking, gang, and I'm looking at all these murders and deaths, you feel me, artists is back to back, back to back, you feel me, um, I'm starting to recognize, you feel me, ain't no time out in the streets, and ain't no time out in the streets, definitely if you're the type of person that's dishing this energy out there in the streets, you know what I'm saying, we got people out there, gang, every day that dish this type of negative devil hating, envying energy out there every day in the streets, right? And I'm a firm believer of, you know, energy. Whatever you put out there, that she gonna come back, you know? Um, definitely if you got ill intentions. A lot of people, they got ill intentions. So, you know, it come back so you know, R.P. Fulio. Um, I don't wish death upon my worst enemy. I don't wish death on nobody, man. I'm gonna be real because at the end of the day, that's something you can't come back with. I know people say, you know, I don't use death on them. I mean, I don't use death on nobody. You know, they can come back from jail, gang. You know, and, and I understand what they're saying when they say they don't wish jail on nobody, but for the most part, my nigga, I don't wish death on nobody. So, you know, I know a lot of people out there. Well, you, know, you see that guy, you know, Ace is hot now, you know? He hot. That video he dropped. Like, why you gonna drop a video, gang, after you, 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 y'all know this man just, y'all gonna drop a video like that, you know? Now, we understand Fulio was doing all his tonting, but at the end of the day, gang, you ain't gotta fight fire with fire. Sometimes it takes for us black men to be much smarter than that, gang. And, and yes, I'm talking about all black men. It takes for us to be much smarter than that, bigger than that, you know what I'm saying? So what they doing over there? You know, you ain't gotta fight fire with fire. You ain't gotta meet uh, steel with steel, gang. It ain't gonna never work like that. It ain't gonna pan out the way you would expect it to. So, knowing that in the streets, it ain't no time out. It ain't no pause button in the streets, you feel me? Because you really can't get into nothing out here in the streets and have beef with niggas and put a pause on it. No, that shit don't work like that. It don't go like that. I ain't never seen a nigga out here in the streets get into it and then be able to put a pause on it. You know what I'm saying? Be able, be able to halt the beef, halt the problems that they started or, you know, the situation that they got at hand. At the end of the day, you know, I'd be like, if you really trying to get money and you're trying to get, you know, a bag or the bags, you're trying to run up a check game, I would think you niggas want to be out the way. I would think you niggas would not want to be beefing nowhere around. You feel me? With nobody. I would think you niggas would want to be so far up your own lane that it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? But we see people getting dropped daily, you know, shootings daily. Not just in the Soleil world, my nigga, in the real world, too. Like, shit, to me, that's where it started. It started in the real world. But I'm like, dog, it ain't no time out on the street. So you got to know one thing in your life, my nigga. If you ain't ready to lose your life out here, gang, you can't be out there playing in them streets. If you ain't ready to lose your life, you can't be playing in them streets. You asking for death, you know? You asking, you you asking for a coffin, gang. Some of you niggas like, and y'all know this. This one make it bad. Y'all know this. But yet you still put yourself in this position. You put yourself in a position to lose your life. You know what I'm saying? To possibly get killed, get your family killed. Because nowadays these niggas ain't just coming for you. They killing your family members. You know what I'm saying? They doing all types of shit, gang. The kids getting shot, you know. Bullets ain't got no name on them. They shooting babies. 
at the end of the day, I feel like it's way bigger and better ways out of situations like that. Those small time situations, gang, that a motherfucker possibly could walk away from, you know what I'm saying? Have a slight conversation, walk away from, agree to disagree or disagree to agree, whatever you want to call it. You still have your life. You still have your life intact. You'll still be able to go see your mom, your dad, your family, your children, your nephews, nieces. You know what I'm saying? You'll still be able to live and continue your goal tomorrow or whatever goals you got set for yourself in the future. But these niggas, they take it to the extreme. These niggas wiping each other out, gang. If you look around you, you know, we don't see all the other cultures doing that shit. They might got their killings here and there on the side, you know. They might got their killings here and there on the side, little serial killings and shit like that. Weird little, you know, knockoff killings, little boondocks killings and shit like that. But at the end of the day, my nigga, when it comes to us, when it comes to our people, gang, um, and I know a lot of y'all out there be like, our people, what? You know, I ain't on that black, black man, black man, black people, black people. I ain't necessarily just saying black, but yes, I am. I'm talking to us because, nigga, we the most frowned upon race. We the most frowned upon race. Not just from, you know, how we act, our behavior, my nigga, but how we spending money. Um, uh, 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 The trillion dollar spending fund. I mean, the spending trillion dollars, you know what I'm saying? A year coming from us to our community gang. Like, gang, we got to start investing, start putting the money back so we know we can get a return on the money. Put your money somewhere you know you're going to get a return on. Somewhere you know you're going to make an investment, gang. A big one. Something that's going to sustain you. Something that's going to keep you straight. You know, a lot of people out here, they ain't mentally sane because they broke. They ain't got no money. So you can imagine if you ain't got no money, a lot of things you can't come up with, you can't do. You can't get to, you feel me? And that's frustrating in itself. You got to understand, looking for a job is a job in itself, and that's frustrating. And sometimes that shit demotivate people. Once they hear, nah, you know, no, we ain't hiring. No, no work. That demotivate them. Now they want to go rob a bank. Now they want to go rob the next black nigga. Because you damn sure, Skippy, they ain't finna go rob no white motherfucker. I ain't seen no nigga in my hood, and I'm in the Midwest. I'm in Milwaukee. These niggas ain't robbing no white people, gang. They know they going to jail, nigga. You getting booked. And most likely... Nowadays, these young dumb motherfuckers, when they do rob a motherfucker gang, they end up shooting a person. Now, if it's a nigga, yeah, you getting shot. You already know how they go. That's crazy. And I hate to say it like that, but that's the truth. When they out here robbing black people, why they always got to shoot the black person gang? Kill him nine times out of ten. Or oh, he ain't making it hard. Or oh, he seen my face. At the end of the day, I don't see these niggas doing this shit in, in Hunkyville. They ain't doing this shit in, in, in white land. They ain't doing this shit with them white folks. They scared. They know them white folks got their freedom. You know, one thing a nigga hate, a nigga hate when his freedom get took. Any black person hate when they freedom took, gang. You can't lie and tell me you don't hate if somebody come take your freedom. Police come control your freedom. You know what I'm saying? They able to, you know what I'm saying? You will hate that. So at the end of the day, it's like, I don't see these niggas doing that shit. And that's what got the city scared. That's what got the community scared. The kids scared to live outside. They know it's bullets flying by, kids getting shot in the back, motherfuckers getting shot in the head off. You know what I'm saying? The shit crazy, gang. But at the end of the day, who thinking like that? Not too many young motherfuckers. I don't see too many young motherfuckers really out there that's focused and trying to really be something because they already know they're going to have to lead the world. You feel me? Definitely when the OGs or the nearing OGs that's here now, when they get they, 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 they elder, age the elder stages of the life these young motherfuckers out here now they gonna have to be the you know what i'm saying the ones that's on the forefront the ones that's standing up representing that speaking for the ogs teaching the youngers like come on gang make it make sense man um i feel like you know i feel like due to the fact the streets ain't got a time out button a pause button gang a lot of y'all need to be conscious about the shit you're doing, the decisions you're making sometimes, yeah? You know, everybody be like, don't be judgmental. Yeah, that's true. You're not supposed to be judgmental. But at least you can still kick out some advice that'll lead a motherfucker to the, the, the righteous side of the path or the most right side of the path instead of his nader self. You know what I'm saying? Lead him to his zenith self, not the nader part of his self. Um, majority of the world is at the nader self. You know, that's real shit. Um, 
and I don't know when everybody gonna wake up, gang. You know, I see people talking about this man. You know, Terrence Howard, some of the, the biggest motherfuckers. We got uh, um, Yaki uh, talking about it. We got a lot of people talking about it, not just blacks, whites, everybody. Because everybody understand, like, gang, they got a lot of potential. But if they bridged and come together, it'd go crazy, you know? But they don't want to hear that shit. At the end of the day, though, man, look, no ain't no time out in these streets, gang. You got to be careful what you're doing. You got to be careful how you step and watch how you mob and you feel me. Make sure you ain't stepping on nobody's toes out there. Stop disrespecting each other, gang. Uh, a relationship, whether friends, you know what I'm saying, business partners, whatever you want to call it, it'll go much farther if y'all bridge it together positively. You know what I'm saying? Not negatively. Y'all love being negative, but if you bridge it together positively, it'll go much farther. You'll get much more results. You'll get greater results. You know what I'm saying? Just try it. Anyway, man, I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe. Stay out the way, man. Stay blessed, man. Uh, stay positive. Stay productive. Stay going. You feel me? Don't let life beat you up, man. I'm out. Gang, look, I thank everybody for stopping at Let's Talk Everything podcast, man, where we having powerful conversations for entrepreneurial minds, gang. Look, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and for sure, make sure you share this video, gang, for every entrepreneur out there that's trying to come up, that's trying to be a business owner, or even if you're just trying to support your boy, man. You feel me? I definitely appreciate y'all, man. Y'all stay safe, stay out the way, stay blessed, stay positive, and stay grinding, man. I'm out.